welcome to EV Car Share. It's been a while. Um, the reason it's been a while, the reason I haven't done a video for a while is because I've been away. Anyone who watches this channel on a regular basis has seen some of my travels around the country will know that I, I work, my work role requires me to travel. Um, mostly it's within the UK, sometimes it's beyond. On this occasion I had a trip, I went from, well drove, from home to Heathrow and I flew from Heathrow over to the US uh, for two weeks. Uh, first week in Wisconsin where it was very, very cold, down as low as the minus 20s in centigrade overnight. And um, then the week after to San Diego where it was much, much better climate reaching positive 20 on a good day in the sunshine during the day. So a contrast of um, two temperatures, let's say, two climates, that's for certain. So that was my, my traveling. That's why there hasn't been a video for a while. Now, being as I've done that traveling and being as this channel is all about my experiences of my EV, of having the Kia EV6, of having my first EV, I thought I would link in my experiences of leaving my car, my EV, at the airport over the period of two weeks um, in the winter waiting for me while I went traveling. So this is something that comes up on a regular basis on forums and on um, various Facebook, social media, etc is do you, how much battery do you lose when the car's just sat there or do you lose any battery while the car's just sat there and those sorts of questions. Um, will it get going again? Will I come back to it or will it have died? Um, and so on. People are going to want to know because going away for two weeks is not an unusual thing for most people. Um, people will have a holiday in the summer, they will go to Turkey for two weeks or to Dubai or to wherever, maybe Florida. Um, these are common things to do, people will want to leave their car for two weeks. So let me give you a quick rundown of my, my trip including my percentages. So I left the house with 100% battery, I charged the car to 100%. If I remember correctly, it may have been just below. I think possibly it was 98 or something like that. Um, there's a sneaky feeling in the back of my mind that I didn't quite charge to 100%. Not that that really matters in this comparison, but hey, got to get my facts straight. So left the house with either 98 or 100%, I can't quite remember which. Um, got down to Heathrow with 63% remaining. So that's Peterborough, down to Heathrow, 63% remaining. So I used, what, 35% or something, which is great. Um, no problem there. And then I parked in the long stay car park and I caught the shuttle to the, to the terminal building and I flew away and came back. But I say two weeks, it was actually probably 12 days-ish later. So I left on the Sunday at lunchtime, lunchtime flight. So I got down to Heathrow, I think about nine o'clock in the morning. I parked the car and then I returned back into Heathrow not on the Friday but the Friday after um, I had picked up a Thursday flight takeoff in San Diego flown overnight and landed at about one o'clock in the afternoon lunchtime ish on the Friday so my car had been there 12 and a half days or something like that I can't bother to work it out you can work it out if you like if you want to work it out exactly, then drop it down in the comments. Let everybody else know. That would be great. Um, so, came back, back into the terminal, shuttled to the car. There are two questions here. So one is, as you approach your car, can you get in? Is the 12 volt battery still working? Yeah? The ancillary battery, the accessory battery, the, the battery that you have in a, an, typical petrol car. The same applies to of course your typical petrol car. You leave your car in the winter for two weeks in a cold airport car park 
if your 12 volt battery isn't up to scratch then it could well drain during that time you could find your central locking isn't working so the first thing as i approach the car press my button did i get in well the answer is yes so big thumbs up on that one so car opened popped the boot loaded my luggage no problem at all um as with most flying you have to rearrange some of your luggage the way you didn't really fancy so there was some time um, trying to find things in my luggage i had the boot open for a while that could drain the 12 volt battery um, but i didn't have any issues there uh, mainly it was trying to find my car key because of course you approach the car you can open the boot as long as the car key is on your person somewhere so i knew it was in my backpack um, but I didn't know exactly where it was and then trying to open the doors was a bit more tricky and I was like, I oh, yeah, better find the key it had fallen down, kind of some, not lining, but into a, an inner pocket um, that I don't tend to use somehow during, the, during my time away so obviously find the car key um, once in, once I got my luggage all packed then I turned on the, the car, turned power on and I was greeted by the dashboard display and the dashboard display said 61% now the 63% that was in the app so I didn't actually make a note of the percentage remaining when I pulled into the car park I made that note of the percentage remaining as I was doing the transfer to the terminal so I used the app on the phone so the app said 63% when I got back to the car I used the car itself not the app it said 61% that's why the the pictures on the dashboard and the app are, are two different things should be the same data there's no questioning the data really it's it's the same um, there's no concerns or worries there what I should have done in retrospect is recorded from car scanner on both occasions and recorded the remaining energy because that would have given me much better much more accurate kind of feel about how much power had been lost during that time um, so we're looking at 2%. Now, the accuracy of that is a bit lacking because it's such a small value. And we know that the value is on the dash display and so on, they're rounded up. So was that 63% really 62.7? And was the 61% really 61.4? Or, I mean, those sorts of questions come to mind. It could be anywhere between the kind of 1% and 3%, I guess. Um, when you read off 2% so there's a degree of error in that in that range so 2% while the car was sat there for almost two weeks doesn't really seem a problem to me certainly wasn't a problem to my getting home I had over 60% to make my journey home I got home with plenty of battery remaining um, 20 something percent it was 28% or something not really all that relevant 2% um, loss in cost, what's that going to cost me? Well, charging my car at home, which was where it was charged prior to that journey, cost me about £6.50 for 100%. So if you take 1% of £6.50, that's what, six, six and a half pence. So double that for the 2%, we'll call it, and that's 13p. So 13 pence of energy lost while it's sat there, yeah, not a problem. So the other question is, where is that power going? Is it just disappearing? Is it just leaking out of the car? Um, there may be a degree of that. So batteries do just lose a little bit of power while they're just sat there. That's a known phenomenon. Um, it's something that I don't want to explain on camera on this channel. It's not really beneficial, I don't think, to anybody. But they do have a degree of drain just by, just by sitting there, particularly in the cold. Um, I have a rechargeable lawnmower at home and if I, I keep the battery in the garage where it gets cold I don't cut the grass much over the winter when it doesn't grow as much although these days it seems to grow a lot more over winter than it used to interestingly um, but when I come in the spring to get the lawnmower out having not used it for a long time I find that the battery has drained and needs a charge needs a top up before I start because it's just been sat there in the cold in the garage and has drained a little bit of power so obviously that's not over 12 days that's over five months or something so there is a degree of drain from the battery in that respect the other possibility is that it has at some point charged the 12 volt battery while i've been away 
So I mentioned that I could get into the car when I returned to it, which was obviously very useful, very pleasing. Um, central locking was working. And partly that could be because the 12 volt battery can be charged by the car while the car is stationary. Also the car can be interrogated using the Kia app. So I could, I don't know, don't remember that I did, but I could have interrogated the car while I was away from the other side of the world um, to ask it where it was, to just make sure it's still in the terminal, or if I wanted to determine, I could, oh, I could do the aircon remotely if I wanted to, not that there was any point in doing that. But if I wanted to determine the battery level when I was away, I could have done that too. Um, so these sorts of services, the, the alarm, the car sits there with its alarm on. The alarm requires some degree of power. Um, I don't know if the immobiliser is some sort of electronic device or whether it's um, more mechanical, but immobiliser, alarm, the computer that controls all of this, talking to the server, charging the 12 volt battery. These are all little power drains that occur in the car while it's just sat there. So we've got two things going on. One is the potential power drain from the car. The other is um, the, the main battery just losing, just naturally losing a bit of power while it sits there. Overall, I think 2% is not to be not to be worried about um, certainly wouldn't cause a problem in my ability to get myself home it's worth thinking about it's worth thinking that maybe if you need to get to somewhere after leaving the airport to charge the car then you might want to leave a bit more energy in the car the other thing that's um, worth pointing out at this time I guess is it's recommended if you're leaving the car for a long period to leave it at somewhere around the middle point of the battery so somewhere between 40 and 60 70 percent I would say so my leaving it at 63 percent was actually spot on it wasn't planned it's was just natural kind of what the battery was as I arrived at Heathrow um, but if you are planning then that's the sort of level that they recommend to leave the car at um, if you're going to leave it for a long period. So just wanted to add that at the end as well. So all in all, good trip. It was a good trip for work as well. It was a good trip for the car, had no problems. Um, another comment on the 12 volt battery. This is the original 12 volt battery. I, I have not been one of the people who had 12 volt battery issues. I have not had a problem with my ICCU unit. Um, the Integrated Charge Control Unit, I think it's called. Um, you see some of those on Facebook forums and, well, just general forums and on the internet. Um, it's been a known problem with this car, um, the 12 volt battery and the ICCU, people who have their issues. Obviously, I feel sorry for those who have, um, but I haven't. Mine's been fine, it's all worked good. Um, this is the original battery. I am now two years and two months into owning this car. And I've gone over 54,000 miles. So all is good in that respect. I was confident to leave my car for two weeks in the airport, no problem. I do carry a jump start battery in case need it, although I have yet to need it. So just a quick summary there. If you've liked this video, then please like. If you want to hear more from me in future, um, then please subscribe. Subscribing would be really, really useful. Um, just the one thing I'd say, if you're gonna pick any of those things, please subscribe. Uh, if you want to make comments, if you have your own experiences, if you want to talk about my experiences, then please leave a comment. You know where to find them down below there um, on the, the video screen. And, yeah, like, as I say, and I hope to speak to you next time. That's all I have to say for today. So until next time, goodbye.